Jesus was black, Ronald Reagan was the devil, and the government is lying about 9-11. Thank you for your time, and good night. Huey Freeman is one of the few author surrogates that is entertaining to me. Most surrogates just kind of preach their writer or creator's agenda with no consideration for the opposite side. Either that or they're so wrapped up in their message that they just become annoying. See Brian Griffin from Family Guy. Huey is an activist who believes in standing up for black rights in America. The catch is, he's 10. On one hand, this is brilliant for the show and comic book's attitude and commentaries. You have someone who's extremely young pointing out society's problems with race, class, and whatever the topic of the day is. Huey has the balls to look a grown man in the eye and say the system is broken and I have evidence to say that you're wrong. He interrupts a court hearing where a grown man has sexual activities with a 14 year old girl but everyone is treating it like it's no big deal because the adult is a famous R&B singer and the teen gave consent. He stands in front of everyone calling them out on their horrible double standard only to be told to sit down and shut up. This is the other half of why the show and comic books are so great. While Huey does everything he can to show people the truth, he forgets how reality works sometimes. He's black and he's 10. Nobody gives a shit what he thinks. Thus, part of the show's comedy comes from the opposing side diminishing Huey's attempts, either it be flaws in the black community that he disagrees with or the US government itself. You mean like them 12 year old girls who work in your sweatshops in Indonesia? That's right. Every morning I wake up and put one foot on the ground and the other up the ass of a 12 year old Indonesian girl. Yo nigga, your brother told us how you be all into reading and shit. Hey, that's some real good shit, my nigga, for real. Congratulations, nigga. Did you just congratulate me for reading? His brother Riley does nothing but watch BET and listen to generic rap music and basically just try to be a gangsta. With Riley, reality comes in when he tries to live his life like a TV show, but the paperwork, actual gangsters, and his brother interfere. So in that way, the two are a yin-yang contrast, giving the audience a more full view of the picture. But Huey only ever steps in when Riley's about to get killed. Let me explain! You must have lost your mind! You kidnap Oprah! So does this mean that all of Huey's humor comes from how he interacts with others? Well, yes. The kid never even fucking smiles. Well, there was that one time when he had a samurai sword up to his brother's face after Riley tried hitting him with a chair in an attempt to hang out with two crazy gun-carrying rich guys who robbed banks for shits and giggles. Jesus. Yeah, you got a feel for the show yet? Huey is almost never deadpan serious when dealing with dry humor. So, Huey's statement of, Ed is an international criminal, isn't the joke, but Riley's response of, there you go hating again, is. When he's telling off his classmates for goofing off when they're getting ready for a play, he yells, do I look like Charlie Brown? Huey's comedy is reacting to a situation instead of forcing himself into a situation that doesn't need him. This is also why he's such a good moral character as well. He's not forcing his opinions. He asks the theater worker, do you like your job, before he tells him about going on a strike. This is what keeps him from being annoying, which he could have easily been. <laughs> Huey is what holds the show together, even though everyone waves him off. We wouldn't have the awesome fight scenes if it weren't for his martial arts skills, no in-depth commentary that makes the audience think, but also creates ground for other characters to joke with. In any other show, he would be the friend of the protagonist with a cult following. Here, he's the kid with the knowledge of grown man looking for a microphone to voice himself. He's a side character put into the spotlight, and goddamn does it pay off. I'm Animated Aaron, what's your opinion? <laughs>